Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So the other day I had a request from the digital team that I work with to get some files out on an FTP site and bring it in. And they wanted to do this in a coded manner. So they wanted to do it in either Python, R, JavaScript, or some other format or uh, method. And uh, so here's a process that I created for them in R. And this uses some examples of some public data, FTP data, from government sites. So um, basically what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you use one library, rcurl, then there's three different URLs I have here I've gone through and found several different websites you can use. The census data one is not too good. Their FTP site is down a lot, so you might sit and spin and wait. NASA's is pretty good. I found this one that works pretty good. This, these are just examples, so if you have a company FTP site, you, obviously you would use that. Um, and then you got to put your passwords in and stuff. But uh, these are non-password protected, so these are public. And uh, so if I were to go and look at, um, this is the one for NASA, and uh, this is their FTP site. And right here, highlighted right here, is the actual address. You want the FTP colon slash slash and the full address of it there. And so then uh, once you have that, you put that in here, you put it in a, uh, little container or a uh, variable called URL okay and what I'm gonna do is or you'd have to put in here and change it every time inside of this next line right here so what you do is you've got once you put the library in you create this uh, variable right here okay with the name of the full uh, URL of it so if you just have this part from here to here you're gonna miss it you have to have the FTP colon so on okay then next what you're going to do is you're going to use the get URL function and so you're going to get the URL from this and then you're going to add this ftp.use.epsv equals false not true okay and you want dir list only equals true so you want the list of it so then what we're going to do is do a string split on file names right so we want to remove some of the pieces we don't need anymore and that puts it right there and then what we want to do is we want to unlist it okay so when you run this all this right here I'm gonna run the last one so when I've run that if you look right here what you get is this see this right here these four you get you wouldn't necessarily get four it depends on what site you use and how many files are out there but in this case so if you want to download files from there this gives you the file names that are available right now I have a choice. I can download all four, but I don't know the size of these things. So you could use this piece of code right here, which is file name and file names for that. You're going to download the file, paste in the URL, separates it with a space, and then paste the uh, file name again here, separate it with a space. And what this will do is this will pull back all the files. It'll download all the files. You may not want that because you might have some huge files and you might want to see what they are first. So in this case what I'm doing is I'm showing you the same thing right here but instead I've got file name in and I pick the specific file name I want. In this case if I wanted this one I can do that one. There's uh, you see here there's um, the ls uh, lr patch.gz that's a zip file same with the file list.patch.gz. So once you've downloaded those, you'll see them over here uh, on your right. And uh, see where it says file list.patch.gz. It's 2.2 megabytes. Now you know the size of that one. Um, I could open that up, but I have to have a uh, something to unzip it, like WinZip or 7-Zip or something like that. Um, I could put in robots.txt. I've done that also. So you could just replace this right here this section right here with the robots.txt because we know that from this list right here and I could download that one that one is right here that one's kind of a garbage file it just tells you what's disallowed you know, some user agent piece and stuff like that um, and it tells you you know uh, some directories that are disallowed possibly um, then there's uh, some other ones so I've got uh, a file list for one of the upper uh, government uh, sites here the public sites and that one gives you this list. So you can have a list of all kinds of different information depending on what you're looking for. Census information, if that site's up uh, and not having issues, apparently it's been having a lot of issues when I try to look at it. 
but you can download files so if your company has a website web address web URL out there and they have a server that's publicly or or privately available and you want to hit it and you want to download some files and you just need to know uh, the address for it and then you just punch it in and you run this and it'll give you one you might have to put credentials of your username and password in there um, if it's a non-public and then you will get your list like right here of the files that are available in this case for this NASA.gov one these are the four files that are available and then you can either download them all by running this this will download all of those files which you may not want to do that's why I'm showing you both pieces of code here um, some FTP sites may have an awful lot of files and data available and you may not want to do that also be very careful in what sites you go to if you just search for publicly available FTP sites there's a lot of sites out there that have garbage files where's files uh, malware uh, viruses porn all kinds of crap out there that you don't want to be a part of so you uh, stick with you know either your own company sites your own FTP sites or um, known public government sites that are going to be maintained and not have garbage files on them um, and again so that's how you would download all the files if you just want to download a specific file you want to see it first you do this one and that's how I got the uh, robots.txt um, right here and I'm like okay so now I know it works this this works and we can use it for any type of file that we want whether it's a zip file a word doc a text uh, file whatever it is we can get it this way and then it'll show up over here and then you know we can do what we need with the data we can load it back into R and do some data analysis on it uh, some exploratory data analysis we can do some graphing with it if it's already all set uh, we can you know load it up in Excel if we want to do a quick uh, visual on it we can load it in Power BI whatever we want to do well thanks this is a quick video but I just want to show you that you have the ability in R to use FTP and go and pull and download files from the internet uh, at will just be careful what you download and be careful where you go okay make sure it's publicly available or it's something that you should have access to and permissions to uh, thanks again for watching please take a moment to subscribe and like and leave me a comment uh, let me know what you like what you don't like do you like things like this that I'm teaching you how to uh, get access to other files on the internet do visualizations do predictive analytics what would you like to see in my future upcoming videos I would like to know and I'd like to hear from you thanks again please subscribe and like and have a great day